Hello everyone, welcome to Grove's Clay. Today I will be showing you how to make small glasses. First, you want a square base. I already put this through the slab roller. Now all I have to do is make a square out of it. To make a square, you should use four rulers so you get it perfectly symmetrical and parallel. First thing you want to do is get a pin tool like this and decide your measurements. I want to make mine fairly small. So it's only going to be three inches. So you can set your rulers like this. So that the angles are always 90 degrees. That's very important. You don't want lopsided squares. Alright, so three inches from here. And then you repeat the process by adding another one. And make sure you don't count the tiny part before the zero in a row. Okay. And then do another side. And this glass I'm making, it's going to be square at the bottom, but then as it goes up, it's going to become more circular, so it's easier to drink. <laughs> Sorry, you put that on there. Okay, now that you have all the sides, you can start cutting out the shape using your pin tool. And it doesn't have to be completely perfect because you can still smooth it out. I think that I think I made mine a little bit too big, but it's okay because it will shrink later on. Okay, I made mine way too big, so I'm just gonna make it smaller as I go along. Okay, so this is the square I have now. And I think it's a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna take some some centimeters off the side. It will be getting bigger as you go up, so you want to make sure it's very small to begin with. Okay. Now it's a lot smaller and it's still a square. <laughs> so now we can start by, by adding coils around it to make it more circular. To make coils, just get a little piece of clay like this and you roll it out. It doesn't have to be perfect because you'll be smoothing it out anyways. Just make sure they're all about the same size. They don't even have to be very thin. So I have one, and I also made another one. They both fell apart. I'm going to look for So now what you want to do is make sure you slip and score your base, because you don't want everything to fall off. You can use a tool like this. Still I learned. Third. <laughs> Third up. And then you also want to slip and score your coil to make sure that they stay very secure. I think it means that when you create Okay, once you have this, you can add some water using a paintbrush. You don't want to add too much water, but you want to add enough. And then you can wrap your coil around like this. Okay. <laughs> so now you have something like this. 
and now you just keep adding layers and I'll speed this part up. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, now I have the desired height, so I will be smoothing out the sides. Smooth out the sides. You can use either one of these, or one of the rubber ones, or you can use a sponge. I will be using a combination of all three. Now you can start smoothing out the sides like this. Just a little bit, you can start using your sponge. Make sure you keep the square at the bottom. The glass is getting a little bit too wet, so you might want to leave it overnight if you have enough time. smooth out the inside. You should probably do that because you'll be able to see inside. <laughs> And by doing this, I'm keeping this square shape. And another way you can flat out the top. You can take a wire cutter and just cut the top completely like this. It can't be too wet when you do this, so it might not work perfectly for me, but if you do this um, within more time, then it should work. So that didn't work out very well, as you can tell, because it's too wet. And then to keep smoothing it out, when it's more dry, just take a sponge and smooth it out on the side. You can also put it in front of a fan if you just can't work with it right now. So here it is, and if I had more time, I would smooth it out more and make it look better. But this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.